Hi, how are you? Uh, welcome to Remember's Corner. Someone asked me the question about the different configurations of uh, subs and tops, and he asked about uh, the advantages or, or pros and cons of having subs getting from left and right, uh, pros and cons of using an auxiliary send to subs, uh, and then also um, how to use a crossover. So I will start with um, the most basic setup of any sound system is uh, your PA. Everything in the main PA gets from left and right. That is including your subs. And then the, 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 baran the balance uh, between the tops and the subs, that's when you, you then sort out either via a graphic, equal, a graphic EQ or via an output of a crossover. A crossover, um, basically, it is uh, it is it is in our signal chain to help uh, um, um, uh, differentiate uh, what frequencies are, are being done by the different elements in this in the system. For example, if you have a, a PS system and your tops and your tops are basically in in, in your tops, you've got compre you've got co compression drivers doing the highs. You've got 10 inch speakers doing doing the mids, you know. And then you've you've got subs. For example, the the sub speakers are like 15 15 inch speakers. So you don't want all the speakers to be playing exactly the same the same frequency. So you want uh, there to be an allocation of um, frequencies. So for example, so that the sub speakers only only get the sub frequencies for for them to play only that you want the, the mid frequencies to, to, to only get mid frequencies so that they can only produce that and you want the high frequencies to only get the high frequencies so that they, they can be basically deal with those frequencies only but our crossover gets the full range uh, uh um frequency from 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 uh, the mixer so so what what that crossover does uh when it divides up those um frequencies to go to the diff different element that is your your lows and your mid and your highs you 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 also then have a cleaner sound in the sense that every time you've got one speaker trying to produce the bass in the mids you know the cone is moving the speaker is moving and and when when the same speaker is trying to produce lows and is also tr trying to produce mids it is moving to to produce those frequencies so somewhere in between when when it, when when it's trying to produce those two different frequencies what happens in between is uh, what what is called inter -mod modulation distortion so 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 basically it also it also to some extent affects the clarity of how of how a system sounds so crossovers now on the big bigger system help to to divide up those frequencies so that the the, the system can be cleaner and, and and also you also learn that a, a three-way system a four-way system sounds much more cleaner than a three-way system the same thing as compared to a two-way system same as compared to a five-way system so the more ways the more cleaner a system sound because different components in the system are doing specific frequencies so now when when I when when I then go back again on uh, routing to to tops and subs, you know, um, one one of my mentors said, um, the 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 moment you send an auxiliary send to a sub and you've got your PA on left and right, it's like now you're driving a car with two gearboxes, you know. So you have to be careful. Uh, how you 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 basically balance the two the two the so for me you know like to some extent I will look at I will look at the scope of the event and I might actually have my subs get from left and right but if I'm doing like a music festival I will have my my subs getting from a separate feed so that my vocals keep keep the 
very clean without really going to the subs. And uh, when when I'm rooting to the subs, I'm I basically root anything that is low frequency content, which which is which which is which is a key driver to 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 that element. For example, I'll put a little bit of keys. I'll put the kick drum, the bass guitar, the floor tom, the third tom. You know, bass guitar. I just put elements like the playbacks. I also uh, root them to that auxiliary send. And the key thing is to make sure that that auxiliary send going to the subs, it is on post fed. Because you want, when you take up the fed, uh, you want that feed to the subs to, to, to also go up in that relation. And you also want, when you pull out the fed of that channel going to the subs, you, you also want that, uh, that uh, fed, you, you, you also want that sub send to also come down. So, so the the pros and cons are basically if you use an aux sent to the subs, your mix will be cleaner because elements uh, that you don't want to go to the subs will not go to the subs. So your mix will be cleaner. The the downside is that is if you don't manage that routing to make sure that, to make sure that it is post fed, and if you don't manage again that how much send is sent to to that sub, if you get that ratio wrong, it might. Uh, push you into problems for me how i gauge that ratio is by using my reference song you know when i play my reference song and i send it to that sub send it will give me an idea of what is the best ratio of my send to those subs but uh, basically that's it on uh, routing subs if you have any question any more questions on uh, the the subs and top config configuration please feel free to to ask me more on that but uh, that's it for now thank you very much for watching remember's corner bye for now